not the most effective nuke, definitely not as effective as the first nuke, but still, having that nuke card in your back pocket is, is it's disorienting for a player to, to play against that, because you're always going to be a little bit scared, and, you know, honestly, I sometimes get the feeling that, what if you were to just nuke a random place on the map, far away from anything else, and then while the other players were distracted, just attack them or something, you know? They're so busy looking around for uh, the little nuke dot that they can't uh, deal with anything. But uh, Stupenda is going to try and run in here on this heavily fortified tank line. They've got plenty of backup. And so this, uh, this ball of marine marauders and some ghosts in there as well, not going to be able to deal with this tank line, I don't think, as uh, it's just too easy to be defensive as a Terran in a situation like this. I mean... Unless you can get some drops off there, which are going to be warded away by both marines and these turrets, it's going to be very hard to get anything done. And this ghost trying to get an eye in, trying to see if he can nuke himself, but uh, take the tip, being very defensive, got turrets up literally all along the entire uh, tank line there. And he's, you know, every time he sees something like that happen, he's probably going to get more and more turrets to ward off these ghosts as, uh, you know, it's... It's just so hard to get ghosts off when, or nukes off when, when the opponent knows they're coming. But Ray is going to keep trying. Here comes another one. Let's see if uh, Take the Tip notices it in time and moves his units away. There comes the scan, so he sees it, and he's actually going to charge in there, take down the ghost before the nuke can drop. So well played by Take the Tip. Good awareness there and good uh, movement stimming up and moving in and uh, Ray and Stupendous not happy with that turn of events as uh, it's it's hard to, s to believe that you know that that nuke got stopped but uh, such is the level of play now so they're going to have to find another way to deal with it or uh, you know there are enough ghosts here and I think I didn't look at the base in time there are enough there are two ghost academies so possibility of a double nuke maybe or I'm not sure what other play they can make. They don't have any tanks to uh, siege up and push in with, so it's going to be sort of hit or miss on this uh, occasion. As um, Yeah, take the tip, doing a really good job placing turrets up across not only his base, but his uh, partner's base as well. And as I said, the expansion is already up for Captain Crunch. Very easy to take it as it's already walled off. And uh, Ray, on the other hand, is just getting his expansion built right now. The command center is on the way. Another nuke coming in here, but that nuke is uh, quite easily taken care of by this uh, siege tank plus turret combination. It's just there's so much coverage that it's it's hard to, to deal with and somebody scanned the high yield here don't quite know who who did that scan but um you know what uh, uh he has nukes too there so nukes also in uh take the tip space as we're going to continue it looks like ray is not giving up ray wants this nuke to go down and we'll see if he can get it to come down here uh, what is this, the, like, fourth or fifth nuke this game? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. Take the tip. has got to scan right now. He's got to look. He, I don't think he sees the dot. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, move your army. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. And if you were looking at the top right there, during, maybe you need to rewind and go back and look at that, but... Let me, let's watch the action for a second here. But if you were watching the uh, the supply count for Take the Tip, which I provided for you, he had 130 supply, and it got busted down to like 80 in a split second there. So a very, very strong nuke coming. But uh, these Void Rays going to pick these mass Marauders apart. So going to just suicide in here on both, uh, both sides here. We've got... Uh, uh, Stupendous's Marauder is going for this expansion to take the tips while the main is going to be attacked by Ray here as he's trying to get down this Nexus. He does take it down. Going to try and take down these uh, SCVs as well. On the other hand, a uh, siege tank coming in here going to try and chase off these Marauders. Let's see if stuff gets them out of range in time. 
Uh, I don't know where the Void Rays are. There they are. They're going to be running across the map trying to uh, attack while these stupendous marauders continue their romp in the naturals of both players. This is uh, quite a turn of events here as uh, the economy is going to be very damaged for both players, both of the uh, other team's players, I should say. Uh, as uh, you can see, take the tip down to 100 uh, mineral intake. Uh, Cap Crunch down to sub 100 intake, but these Void Rays are going to be very strong as they push in. Going to have to get some Marines to deal with this ball. And there they are, coming in, and not doing a great job of the micro as Cap Crunch as he's losing his uh, Void Rays to an actually very small force of Marines, if, if I'm being honest, as uh, he could have microed that a little bit better, I think. And, uh, just going to, uh, not going to allow that ghost in either, so, uh, the nukes from, from Take the Tip not being effective. These marauders are still here, I cannot believe that, as, uh, just look at the income levels for both, both teams, both, uh, purple and light blue, as, um, they are zero. <laughs> and Ray is saying, I got the nuke achievement for, for that. So, uh, very nicely done, Ray. Congratulations, I have to say. Well well played, sir. And uh, now, um, although both armies were kind of sacrificed in that push, I'd have to give the definite uh, definite edge to the people who are mining, as uh, still no income for either player on the opposite team. And uh, it, it would seem that, that uh, Stupendous and Ray have unlimited map control at this point. They, they're they're going to be able to expand out as much as they want while it looks like uh, uh, Captain Crunch and Take the Tip are going to be really penned in both here at their mains and their naturals and their mains are almost mined out at least this one is almost mined out and this one is completely mined out so down to one base for Take the Tip uh, two bases coming up for Captain Crunch, but this one's not going to last long. And uh, Stup is laughing, saying they're broke. So they are going to macro up a bit here and do a little bit of showboating. They already got a nuke off, you know, a uh, 50 supply nuke. That's that's pretty strong. Normally, when you get something like that, you're pretty happy with the game. But they're going to go for more here. So this ghost going to try and run in the front door. He's cloaked, and uh, uh, I don't know if he's even he's surrounded. He's literally surrounded, cannot be seen, going to just start shooting away and then finally getting dominated. <laughs> like, he got literally trapped and hemmed in <laughs> by Marines there. Very nicely played. Very nicely played. Oh, oh, God, I can't. Uh, where is this nuke? Where is this nuke? I heard a nuke somewhere. Where is this nuke? Oh, uh, there it is. Um, too late to actually, uh, to catch it. I'm sorry guys. I once again I fail on the uh, commentating side but it's, it's so hard to see a, uh, a ghost, a single ghost in this uh, melee of action. Although not much is going on right now. So wow. I did not know the ghost talked when they died. That's pretty cool. Uh, Ray going to be mining out of his main very soon here finally getting his uh, expansion up as uh, we're now almost I'd say 20 minutes into the game and uh, finally getting his expansion going <laughs> stupendous getting his expansion here at the high yield but forced to land off center and using SCVs to try and take down these rocks I don't think it's going quite well for him as uh, that is going to take literally forever um, but still uh, the economy of the other team, uh, Captain Crunch and Take the Tip, climbing back up steadily, but they are in a very bad position, and Ray says, let's finish him. So he's got a, a, an army here, and he's going to try and push in. A, uh, a CC being lifted off here, as this is completely mined out of both gas and minerals, going to be landed here at the bottom left, so uh, expect Ray's uh, ability to uh, generate income to greatly expand here. And Ray says, it's okay, I've got it. Ray is going to solo these two players by himself. Solo by himself, right. <laughs> so, uh, oh, wow, I didn't even notice this. Look at this army. Uh, that is 11 dropships. 
11 dropships completely filled with marines. That's going to be that's going to be devastating. And I missed the action here as uh, Ray's Marauder is coming in, going to be romping around and take the tips main. Dealing with these Hellions. Although I think this army is in a bit of trouble as uh, it's actually going to get cleaned up by Take the Tip before doing too much damage. So not uh, not quite the finishing blow that Ray was trying to put down there. On the other hand, though, this this could be a finishing blow. This could be a uh, devastating blow if these uh, these Metafacts get all their Marines in there. Although some some well placed siege tanks could theoretically hold off a huge marine army. I'm not quite sure. 12 times 8, somebody do that math for me. 80 plus 16 is 96 marines. Ooh, that is a, uh, that is a lot of, uh, Goss rifles is what that is. Jeez, and look at how quickly they heal up after stimming too, and look at, look at how quickly this Nexus is going to go down, or not go down as he micros away from it. Soon though. Wow. I am uh, in awe of the mass marines. So strong. More marines coming out. They forgot to get dropped earlier. And so going to be dominating as he, uh, he just walks through Captain Crunch's entire base here with very little uh, These zealots going to charge into the action and get taken down in a split second or two as uh, you just can't fight good old fashioned mass rifle tactics. It's like the Civil War here. You've got musketeers lining up in their firing lines taking them down. Going to charge in against these tanks. Look at this tank almost getting taken down straight away but uh, Stupendous going to micro away from that. So you know what? We'll we'll let them rest here. So good, good attack there. Captain Crunch is completely completely out of the game at this point I'd say. He has no more production facilities only has uh, the income of one base and you know maybe he's just going to shunt all his resources over to take the tip if he was smart he'd give 1800 gas to take the tip as uh, uh, take the tip is a little under gassed right now with only 200 so maybe we can see take the tip being the hero in this one but honestly I just don't see any way for the other team to get back into the game and uh, it's just a matter of time until Stupendous and Ray both crush any remaining will left from the uh, purple and teal team. But going to delay that until, you know, they get the right mix of units. Going to, going to see, uh, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine barracks coming up for Stupendous. Another nuke going off here. Wow, this, this, oh, oh, <laughs> Ray gets excited for half a second. And then uh, loses the, the ghost there. Thought he was going to get another new cop. What have we got here? More medevacs going to be dropping around back. A completely undefended back. Well, maybe not back here. If they dropped here, they'd probably take out all the uh, mining. But as it is, he is going to drop and take the tips main. And uh, against these Thors, we'll see how mass marines can do as they uh, start eating away, nibbling away at the uh, armor plating of those Thors. And it, it looks very effective to me as uh, the War 1 goes down, but that siege tank could be a another changing factor, but no, it's going to get focused down, and these these uh, marines going to romp around the production facilities of another base, they're just, uh, they're like vikings of their own, they're going to pillage, they don't think that uh, it should be only air units that can say things like that, no, nope. burning and pillaging is uh, take the tip, force to lift up as many buildings as he can and get them to the safer confines of his tank line. More tanks going to be uh, sieging here on the low ground to the high ground. Going to do a lot of damage to these marines before they run away. But uh, the buildings do escape there and uh, now Stupendous just going to focus on clearing out the rest of this base. Some ravens coming in with auto turrets but uh, honestly 